Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills, this is Logan Burgess. Today is Friday, the 25th for the weekly wrap up. Let's get right into fire tips, see where the market closed here. Corn traded at 720, down four and a quarter. Beans traded at 1440 and three quarters, up five and a half. Wheat was up around 775, uh, trading up seven and a quarter. In Kansas City, wheat was up seven and a half as well on the day. We had export sales come out. Uh, Logan, you know, what were your thoughts? Did we have any surprises uh, in the export sales? Well, you know, j just in terms of wheat, it certainly did seem like those export sales reported this morning uh, did lend support to the wheat market. 647,000 metric tons of wheat uh, reported sold. That was higher than trade expectations. If we turn our attention to soybeans, soybeans had another huge week here, almost a million metric tons reported sold. But if we break it down by the marketing year, uh, just about a third of those were for the current marketing year, the 12-13 marketing year. Um, so a majority of those were going out to 1314. Bottom line though, if we look at the model that we've been tracking throughout the marketing year here, this week's figure did come in slightly below the red line, which we use to gauge the pace needed to meet USDA expectations. And we're still looking at the USDA needing to make a revision at some point uh, in export sales of soybeans by about 140 million bushels. Turning our attention to corn, story there really continues. Uh, the export sales that we saw reported this week disappointed the trade on a weekly basis. And, and they continue, uh, in our opinion, to come in uh, areas where the USDA is going to need to make another revision there. Even with the revised USDA uh, projected export sales of corn, we're still, need, we're still seeing another 36 million bushels um, needing to get taken off that figure here at some point. And so what we're seeing here is a continuation of the trends that we've right. been watching all marketing year. Corn continues to disappoint. Right. Beans is coming in about on par to above average. Right. Uh, and uh, well, well, one thing is kind of interesting is wheat actually outperformed and right. we haven't seen that in a while. So yeah. that was a good uh, change for wheat. Yeah, you know, it, just in terms of the bean sales that we did see today, I, I think it is important to note, you know, we saw beans only trade up about five and a half cents uh, with almost a million metric tons of those soybeans sold. So I think when people see this figure here, those uh, cancellations by the Chinese are still kind of in the back of their mind. Obviously, it's a long time before those 13, 14 beans are going to be leaving the country. Uh, so a lot of things could change. So uh, bottom line today, soybeans had a good showing, but nothing really uh, to write home about. Clearly, nothing to, nothing was really there to, to really push the market higher. Yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about South America and really kind of the trend, the weather events that are going on down there. Argentina continues to be dry, and really a lot of people are concerned about, uh, about that crop condition right. down there. Um, not so much right now that the, the crop condition is bad, but if we continue to get dryness, um, you know, what, what could happen uh, to the, the production potential down there. And what we're seeing here is actually a, a map uh, that was uh, released by Planalytics, and it kind of describes to us uh, in terms of sea surface temperatures how or and what is causing the dryness in Argentina. Right. And as you can see here, you know, off the, uh, the southwestern part of south, uh, southwestern um, uh, South America, you're going to see this uh, warmer sea surface temperatures. And that's actually, that's kind of pushing that main polar jet uh, stream uh, down below Argentina. It's kind of pushing the weather events uh, below Argentina, and that's causing the dryness up there. One thing, the wild card here that, that could uh, throw a little bit of a wrench in into the weather conditions is the, the, the cooler uh, sea surface temperatures off the coast of Chile and Peru. Right. That could cause some low weather events that travel over the Andes and, and provide a little bit of moisture for southern Brazil, uh, Buenos Aires, and possibly Uruguay as well. So the, that, that isn't uh, a guaranteed event you know that wet low low pressure system that's not a guaranteed event right but i think that is what could turn the grain prices around you know the premium that we've seen put on because of some of the weather events i think if we get that low pressure system that could actually cap that rally that we've right. been observing so make sure you pay close attention okay so it seems like kind of a spotty rain could be putting a little bit of a damper on the on the soybean market in particular but in terms of the weather premium in this market do you think it still has a little bit of legs here or or i guess looking back at at the action we saw this week kind of what's your what's your outlook here yeah I, I guess what this is you know and what planalytics has kind of talked about is right. is that the overarching trend is is dryness for the next four to six weeks and in in throughout argentina and right. and uh, and that this low pressure system that could develop uh may be what kind of cracks that trend but overall that that drying trend is what's concerning the market it seems to be the overarching trend getting a little bit more attention right. and so i think that's what uh, people have been trading on uh, at least putting a little bit of premium into this bean market. And so right. you're going to have to pay attention. Just make sure uh, that you pay close attention to the weather events down there because you may get that low pressure event that moves over the Andes right. and into the grain regions.
Yeah, certainly. Well, it could make an interesting open here on Sunday night. If you want to take a look at live quotes uh, and be able to trade yourself there on Sunday night, you can always take a demo over at grainhedge.com of our trading platform. Um, but, you know, in general, Cody, I think that kind of uh, wraps up the action that we saw today uh, in the grain market. Thanks a lot for joining us, guys, here on Grain TV. Everybody out there, have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday.